click the subscribe button, hit the bell icon to never miss another update. Summary of Part 15 of the Holy Quran This part covers complete Surah Bani Israel and major portion of Surah Kaf. Four key topics are covered in Surah Bani Israel. The event of Miraj, the Holy Prophet was taken from Masjid al-Haram to Masjid al-Aqsa at night and then from there to heavens. The tribulation of the nation of Israel. The nation of Israel were foretold that they would make mischief on this earth twice. Therefore, once they persecuted Prophet Shoaib and as a punishment Bak Nasser was imposed on them. The second time Prophet Zachariah and Prophet Yahya were killed and as a punishment the king of Babylon took over. Islamic manners and ethics, worship none but Allah. Do good to your parents. Give the rights of your relatives, the poor and travelers. Don't waste money or don't be stingy. Don't keep your hands wide enough that you regret tomorrow. Do not kill your children for fear of poverty. Do not kill any living unjustly. Do not usurp or misuse the property of orphans. Keep your promises. Do the measurement correctly. Don't intervene in matters that are none of your concern. Do not walk proudly on earth. Do not associate anyone with Allah. Some other topics are also covered like the greatness of the Holy Quran, the purpose of its revelation and its miracle. The honor bestowed on man by Allah, the bestowal of blessings on him like soul and life. The command of night prayer to the Prophet, the story of Prophet Musa and Pharaoh. The wisdom of the revelation of the Holy Quran piece by piece. Allah Almighty having no partner and being pure from children and being characterized with beautiful names. The first part of Surah Kahf two incidents and two examples. The companions of the cave, these were few faithful young men whom King Dacianus used to force into idolatry. He would kill anyone who did not accept his polytheistic invitation. These young men were offered incentives like appointment and raising the standard of living if they agrees to his invitation, threats and death threats were made if they do not listen to his command. These young people put the protection of faith above all else. And they came out of city to save their religion. While walking, they reached a cave in a mountain far away from the city. On the way, a dog joined them. They decided to take shelter in this cave. When they entered the cave, Allah put them to sleep. Here they slept for 309 years, when they woke up they were worried about food, one of them went to town to buy food, there he was recognized, in three centuries things have changed. The government of the polytheists was over and now the monotheists were in power, these young people who left home for the sake of faith became national heroes in their eyes. The second story was of Prophet Musa and Prophet Kezer, which will be discussed in the next part. Two examples were given in these verses. First example. There were two people, one had gardens and the other was poor. The gardener was arrogant. The poor man said to him that do not be arrogant and be thankful to Allah. He did not listen to him, the punishment of Allah came and his gardens were burnt. The second example, the example of worldly life is like water raining down from the sky on earth and turning it green, after a while everything dries up and gets destroyed. 